Uh, for those of you not familiar with Henry Flagg, we, we oftentimes consider him one of the founding fathers of the company. I brought his railroad. Uh, you know, he made money in the steel industry, he decided to invest in the railroad industry, connected North Florida and South Florida via the Florida East Coast Railroad. He was often criticized, even historically, as being exploitative of his employees uh, that he had working. I mean, it was a different time. You know, it's the South. We understand sort of the racial divide that existed. But it was oftentimes uh, referred to as being exploitative of the hotel workers that were hired as subsidiary employees, the food service folks that came a part uh, of the railroad. There was a study done about 10 years ago it's important because we're celebrating the 100th anniversary of his death this year. There was a study done about 10 years ago on rate of inflation for those employees versus where they are now. And I'm considered, he was considered, quote unquote, by folks as exploitative. The reality is that those employees that he would have employed then, in 1896, would have been making anywhere between 14 and 17 dollars an hour by today's standards. 14 to 17 dollars an hour for hotel employees, food service employees, etc. So when you hear those kinds of numbers, somebody who fell under the guise of the Gilded Age was a Robert Barron, quote unquote, big business guy who did not care about the little man. It's laughable when you know that there are people who are simply asking to get $10 or $11 when uh, a few cents can't be offered up to those, as I said at the beginning, who are literally the hands that feed you.